Good morning everyone, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Thank you for joining me, I hope you guys are doing well. Today is the first day of the biggest motorcycle rally in the Pacific Northwest, Hog Wild Motorcycle Rally here in Ocean Shores, Washington. Yeah, thanks for joining me everyone. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet link below in the video description if you need some mobile unlimited unthrottled internet. How do I feel about going to my first official motorcycle rally and I don't even have Black Betty my Harley? I had to pick and choose with all that rain and nasty weather. Therefore, Black Betty, my Harley, is safely stored at my shop in East Alton, Illinois, and Tater Tot is going to be our rig for the day. We're gonna go have some fun here in Ocean Shores and check out the festivities, probably drool over a few really nice bikes and just be like, man, it is what it is. Let's get in Tater Tot, go have some fun. All right, the kitties, Tara and Opie, are gonna be taking care of the RV while we are gone. It is going to be 66 degrees today. It's a little warmer than normal in ocean shores in the summer. <laughs> then once we get where all the action's at, I'll have to find a place to park tater top, but that's gonna be easy. Oh, we're already starting to see the bikes. They uh, started over in Aberdeen about 20 minutes ago, and now they're just arriving into ocean shores. Mostly Harleys, but it's not Harley specific. Wow, it's a lot of bikes, guys. Jeez. Yeah, so in my uh, last video, we talked about how they got the barricades up here on Main Street leading up to the beach access there at Chance a -Mer. So they're gonna be doing some stuff here later. We're gonna, we're gonna go check out the live music over here. Parking is tough. Unless you have a smart car, then you can just kind of, I'll show you. I just kind of fit in right here, scooted right in. I love my car. Ocean shores on a cloudy, chilly summer day. Lots of bikes. Let's go check out the music over there. Oh, that's cool. The stage is a trailer up there. They've also got some uh, vendors over here we can go check out too before there's any racing shows. Yep, lots of vendors, lots of uh, Harley gear. There's there's t-shirts and other stuff over here. And the food smells. Oh, it smells good. Oh my. There you go. Wow. Thanks guys. And there's still bikes rolling in. Big old RV. Oh, he must have got here really early for that RV spot over there. A couple weeks ago, they had the gun and knife show here at the convention center. And now we got the motorcycle rally. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Nice. Clearly, there are a lot of bikes here. I'd say mostly baggers. I'm just looking for a soft tail slim, looking for a Black Betty in the mix, you know? Oh, ho, 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 I found one, guys. I finally found a soft tail slim. I believe it's the same exact year because it's got the matte black tank there with a 103. I like the small form factor windshield batwing there. With the pinstripe on there. Yeah, I kind of like that look. It's got that Jax Teller from Sons of Anarchy look. The pinstriping really brings the whole bike together. Still got the stock seat on there. Kind of surprised. Yeah, it's a cool looking bike. Holy cow, a couple custom baggers here. Look at all the speakers in there. Wow, the big front tire. And the red and black one. Oh my gosh. Look at that console dash. Woo, another big fat front tire too. Wow. And then as camper van Kevin always says, purple's faster. Well, it's almost like purple and pink. Holy cow. That's crazy. <laughs> We got the uh, stunt bikes coming up next from Seattle, so I'm gonna go get a spot in line. Yeah, in about 15 minutes, the K Seattle Cossacks, Cossacks, are gonna perform some stunts on these bikes. So the Seattle Cossacks, these are all 1930 to 1940 Harleys. They are, they've been doing this for 85 years, but these bikes are a little different. 
the uh, foot, your left foot, is actually your clutch, not your gear shift. And then, and then I don't know if you see the knobs right on the side of the tank there. That's how they're shifting. So they're gonna do some stunts here in a little bit. They're getting ready right now. Fancy. That must took a little bit to get used to. Now that's impressive. That's pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> there you go. I can do that, but I don't want to. Pretty cool. Oh, they got three bikes all linked together here. What are they gonna do? I think those two are gonna jump up for a pyramid. What? Oh, oh my God, he's climbing up the front bike. That's cool. Now they got a turn with all three bikes. <laughs> Wow. They must be lower geared or something because their first gear is really slow. But oh, man, that's cool. Oh, he's trying to balance it and ride. That's probably more difficult than it looks. That's pretty impressive. Ten guys on three Harleys. All right, wait, what's going on here? They put a ramp on the girl. Are they gonna jump her? I guess they're gonna jump her. neat show there. It's funny how the sun just takes almost all day to finally come out now that it's out. I'm actually going to go out on the beach. There's no longer any access to the beach right there though because they got it closed off a chance on the mercy. You got to go around the other side of this convention I guess. I do got to say I don't think I've ever been to the actual beach when there's sunshine. This is very very rare for ocean shores here. Pacific Ocean to have sunshine on the beach. It's kind of a miracle, actually. Oh yeah, this is great. This is awesome. Oh yeah, this is nice. Plenty of sunshine. I'm uh, tailgating here on the back of Tater Tot. That's how we do that. There's one row of cars up there. It's still kind of hazy and misty and foggy. Still only 65 degrees too, but not a bad day.
Oh, our deer friend are out, guys. And look, Mama's got a baby Bambi over there. Little baby Bambi with her. Oh, hey, you're leaving your kid. Mom, you left your kid. Oh, that's a baby Bambi. Yeah, go catch up with Mom. Yeah, she left you behind, I know. You fuzzy butt. <laughs> Man, we heard you talking to the deer first, Dad. We're more important. You always need to start with us, Dad. You're, you're probably right, Opie. I, I should have, what was I thinking, Tara? Always come in and greet the kitties first, because they're way more important than deer. You gonna get those deer? Yeah, you should. Okay. By the way, it's not incredibly hot, but um, I'm testing out a new portable air conditioner, so uh, just running it through its paces, checking everything out. Eventually, you'll get more information about that thing right there. That's the only sneak peek you get. More, more to come later. Opie double dope, please. Yeah. Yep, you're the good boy. Okay. All right, man. <laughs> well, hi there. How, how, how are you guys today? Did, did you have a pretty good deer day? Yeah. Did, is that pretty good stuff? You want one of these? Here. Did you want one of those? That's the good stuff. You want to try one? Is that not your flavor? Might be the wrong kind, huh? Sorry. I'll, I'll give it to the kitties. Did, did, did you want to try it? It's good for chewing. Like, if you put it in the back of your jaw and chew, you could, you know, you, you don't want any. You, you, you'll try it. Oh, okay. Well, you have a good day. Um, I was going to go talk to the kitties. That, <laughs> look at them up there. They're both staring at me like, what the heck? We do not have room for a deer, Dad. Dad, we don't have room for a deer. Oh, okay. Well, you guys have a good day then. Okay? You guys have names? I kind of want to call you Rudolph. Well, you look, you look like a Rudolph to me. I don't know. Okay. Well, have a good day. Uh, sorry for the audio in this video, guys. I just started editing and realized it. I know what the problem was. I will fix it for the next video for sure. We're going to get through this one. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'm all packed up, guys. The RV is ready to go. We're just going to hook up the car in the morning and then hit the road and uh, say goodbye to Ocean Shores. I want to thank Terry and Scott once again from Destination Open Road. Thank you for letting me use your beautiful property here. This was a great little reset here in Ocean Shores. The temperatures are going to get back to normal on the other half of the state, so I'm feeling good. Thanks for joining me on the channel, guys. Please consider giving me a thumbs up on the video. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And Tara and Opie and I will see you in a few days. Bye, guys.